Now I have some videos showing some of my top Google Sheets equations. I have another one I want to add to that, and that is what's called transpose filter. Now this works very similarly to VLOOKUP. Now VLOOKUP is one of my favorite equations because what I can do is if I have a set of data here and then I have a unique value, let's say the student ID in this case, I can pull data from one spreadsheet to another spreadsheet. So in the case of here, what I can do is I can pull the name. So I actually typed in my equation, VLOOKUP, A2 is what's looking for. So it's gonna look for anything in the row that, ha that starts with this. So I'm telling it to look for 4912, and then it's going to pull in out of that range the second column of data, which if I go to my spreadsheet on this side, which was the first name, so 4912 gave me Kyra. If I take that same equation, I double click here and paste it in and change it so it brings in the third column that's going to be the last name. And I can even do this again. And I can paste it and switch that to four and it'll pull me in the fourth item. So I can see here that Kyra put in a maple for their tree that they identified. Now that works great, a VLOOKUP works great if I'm only picking out one row from one spreadsheet. You know, if there's only one instance that name shows up. But let's say Kyra here filled out this Google form multiple times, and so she actually appears on the spreadsheet multiple times, and I wanna pull in all the times that she had that. Well, I can still do that. So let's delete that for a second. And I can use a filter equation. So if I equals filter, and I pick the range. So what data am I going to filter? And because my little help thing blocks my A2, I'm going to start A3. But then in my equation, I'm just going to get rid of those numbers. And the reason is it's going to look through that whole row. It's only going to pull the stuff that meets Kyra. So now I need all the row. I want only where this column here meets that student ID. So I'm going to hide this for a second. And I say here, and again, I got to get rid of the numbers because I just wanted to look through the whole row. And we're going to equals and her student ID of 4912. So what it's going to do, if I hit enter, you're going to see it's only going to show me the data where Kyra put in and it filtering out everything but where the student ID was this. Now again, that could be very useful, but let's say I want to see every student on here, and if they had multiple entries, I kind of want to see them in one row. Well, I can still do that, because what I can do, again, I'm going to leave 4912 here. I'm going to actually delete this. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to put that 4912 here. I'll put her first name here, Kyra, Watson, whatever. And now I'm gonna make all of the entries she had show up here. So again, I can use a VLOOKUP for, to look for only the first instance, and I can use a filter to show me all the rows that she put in. But if I wanna see all the trees that she put into that form at the same time, only one row, that's a little bit different. So I'm gonna equals filter here. So again, the range. So I'm gonna filter the tree ID, so again, it's blocking my second cell, so I'm just gonna say D to D, so from the top to the bottom. Don't have to worry about where the bottom is. And the condition where it's this row is equal to her ID of 4912. And again, I'm gonna go, I can leave it like that. Now, if you see this, I'm gonna hit enter. Not applicable. Uh, I, whoops, sorry. Again, you have to have the same number of rows, and so if I have D to D on one, I gotta do A to A on the other. So we can enter, boom. But I want that to go horizontal. And so what we do is we actually transpose that. So in front of filter, I'm gonna write the equation transpose. <laughs> Make sure I put the right parentheses. And, oh, sorry. It helps if you actually spell transpose correctly, not transpose. And there you go. So now I get her information and everything shows up here. So if she were to enter that form again, it would show up on H. So we can actually go down here. We'll add in the data. We'll put 4912 and we'll put the tree. It's a big tree. And you'll see that it shows up there. So this could be very useful in a case like this where you have, let's say, a student filling out a Google form multiple times. You want to see every entry they put in there. Uh, could also be very useful. I've used this when I looked at, you know, if, how many kids were failing a course. And then I want to see every course they were failing. 
So this transpose filter works really well to almost pretty much give me a V lookup, but multiple times and go through those all in the same row. So again, very simple equation. I'm just using a filter equation and then I'm transposing it, which pretty much instead of going straight down, it will go to the side. So it's switching by 90 degrees. So nice little equation, good one throwing your toolbox. If you have any questions, send them off to me. I'll try to help the best I can.